In this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to use a motion detection sensor. For this tutorial you need an Arduino, three jumper wires, male to female, and the HCSR501 passive infrared motion sensor. Our motion sensor uses infrared to detect motion. So if we remove the cap from our sensor, you'll see here there's an infrared sensitive device. And it actually consists of two different parts, each detecting infrared radiation. So how does this work? If there is no motion detected, both segments of the sensor detect the same amount of infrared light. However, when there is motion, both parts detect different values for infrared and therefore it knows there is some motion. This special fractional cover uses these little tiny lenses to direct the infrared light to the center of the sensor. Therefore it has a detection angle of 140 degrees. Every time someone is moving, these segments return different amounts of light on this sensor and that's how we can measure motion. The one on the right is for the sensitivity. It can detect between 1 and 7 meters so you can adjust it for your project so you know exactly how sensitive it will be and you are not have false positives. On the bottom left you see a jumper. It's marked with H and with L. In a current mode, which is L, it's in single trigger mode. It means when motion is detected, the signal of the sensor becomes high and during the period of time that the sensor is high, no new motion will be detected. It's actually blocked the sensor till the timer fires. But if I put it on high, then continuously motion is monitored. So what could be happen is that if your timer is set to one minute, and motion is detected, it will start making your signal high for a full minute. But when after 30 seconds new motion is detected, it will reset the timer and will wait for a full minute again until the signal will become low. So basically in the low mode it's single trigger and in the high mode it's repeatable trigger. Building the circuit is pretty straightforward. The red wire I've used for the 5 volt, the blue one for the ground. So because these are sitting together you can easily put them at once. So these are connected and the data I'm connecting to pin number 12. So that's basically it. We're now ready for our first sketch. So let's have a look at the code, which is pretty straightforward, no libraries needed, very simple. So we start with declaring some variables. We have LED pin on pin 13, which is the built-in LED. We have the pair pin, it's connected to pin number 12, it's the pin we use to read out the motion sensor. The pair value, that's the value of our motion sensor. And then the setup, also pretty straightforward, we set the LED pin as output, the pair pin as input, and we write low to the LED pin. And this is because we want to make sure the LED is off when we start our program. Then in the loop, we keep reading the value and writing this to the LED pin. So we do a digital read on the pair pin, so that will be true or false if motion is detected or not. And if so, if motion is detected, then you'll see that we write the 2D LED pin true, and then or high in this case, and then the, uh, the LED will light up when it sees movement and turn off when the timer has stopped. Now I'm going to upload this and I'll show you what this looks like. I've uploaded the sketch to my Arduino. And as you can see over here, the LED is turned off. But when I move my hand in front of the sensor, you see it's detecting motion. 
What you also notice is that the lead goes off very fast. Well, as you remember, there is a put meter to change the time delay. And this is the left one if you look at the side. So I'm now slightly adjusting this potentiometer. And it's very sensitive. The, so if you want to take it a little bit longer, be very careful when turning that knob because it could take for minutes if you're uh, turning it too far. But as you see now, it takes longer before the LED goes off. If I even turn it further, you will see it kept on for a really long time. So in this way you can change the time duration of your uh, motion sensor. I'm turning this one back and the other one is for sensitivity. So when I turn it all the way back, now it's really sensitive with the tiniest motion. Well, if I hold it up a little bit, with the tiniest motion it's triggered. But when I turn it the other way, and now from a long distance, it doesn't detect my hand when I wave at a far distance. And when I wave closer, it will detect the motion. So you can fiddle around with these spot meters to see what suits your needs for your project.